Hi, Nick Drew from Earth Movers Digger Man Blog. I'm here today at Rockingham Speedway at the first CAT auction services event in Europe hosted by Finning. I've selected three machines that you can see behind me that I'm going to take a look at with experts Colm from Iron Planet. Right, I'm with Colm now from Iron Planet who's going to tell us a bit about the uh, inspection process that uh, these machines go through. Yeah, hiya Nick. Hi. Um, yes, I'm Colm from the inspection service department for Iron Planet in Europe. Over here to oversee the inspections of all these machines for this particular auction. So because you know we've, we've went through the report that we've done on these particular machines, this particular 308 that we have here behind us at the moment, broken it down to about nine sections to incorporate the control station, undercarriage, chassis, engine and so forth. 90 pictures roughly that we've taken on this particular machine to give a good overview of the condition. I know you've, you've taken a quick look through the report and there's a couple of different issues that, you, uh, that you've picked out that you want to take a quick, quick look at. Yeah, I've been having a look at the uh, the printout you gave me, and uh, I noticed the the star rating that you use. Uh, could you tell us a bit about your star rating and how it works? So we use a four grade system with Iron Planet. So we have a four star, three star, two star, and one star. Four star rating is normally with a new machine, so essentially unused. Right. Um, it's the best you're going to get. Then we step back to a three star, where you're going to have it. The terminology that we use, Nick, is that uh, it's as you would expect for age and hours of the machine. You could have a 2014 machine with three stars. Similarly, you could have a 1994 machine with three stars. Then we move back to our two star, which is, although performing, shows requirement for repair. Um, so that means it's, it, everything works, yep. but it, it needs attention at some stage in the near right. future. Yeah. Uh, then we step back down to a one star, which is our, our red star. Um, and that, that essentially means that this particular component needs immediate attention for safety purposes or even for actual operation. Right. So that, that essentially walks through the uh, the four star ratings that yeah. we use. Yeah, brilliant, yeah. Um, this particular machine, I know, this has got a lot of three star ratings, so it's That's a right. very good machine. But I did pick up on uh, some two star items here, which I'd like to have a look at with you. So I noticed the the, the a boom ram cylinder has, has got a two star rating. Can you tell us a bit about that? As you can see, there is a visible leak from the actual cylinder. So we know the cylinder is still in operation, so that's where it warrants a two star rather than a one star, but it does require a repair at some time in the near future. Um, so that's essentially where you get your two star rating from. Another two star thing I spotted, Colin, was this uh, swing tower pivot, which is obviously, yeah, that's, that's an area these machines suffer in, obviously, isn't it? That I suppose in MIDI excavators you're going to get, get a little bit of wear there at most times, so it is a quite important area that we check as part of the chassis inspection. And as you said, we highlighted in this particular machine that there is some heavy movement which does warrant a two star rating, so possibly at some stage in the near future it, it may need bushings or something put back into it. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much for the part of the inspection. Yeah. Okay, one other thing I've noticed in the uh, in the report is that it says there's a, a dripping leak on the side of the engine. As you've clearly pointed out, part of the inspection process is our engine inspections. I know you've picked out where we have a small little leak um, coming from the side of the engine, possibly a rock recover gasket. It's not a major issue, but again, it's a, it's it's an issue to be to be considered as part of our inspection process. You know. Right, so we've now moved over to the uh, the Cat Three Two Three D, and uh, Colin's going to tell us about about the. Uh, things that are highlighted in the inspection report on this machine? It seems about 9,000 hours, so you'd expect a little, bit of, uh, a little bit of wear and tear in some parts of it. So what we've highlighted on this particular machine was in, within the safety section of it was our swing brake. So as you know, swing brake's a little bit slow to respond on it. We've also made a reference to the hydraulic pumps. Small bit of a noise in those, that warrants a downgrade to a two star on the pumps. Could be a multiple of different reasons why we're getting that. And then finally, with, with this particular machine, as you would expect at 9,000 hours, you're going to get a little bit of wear in the pins and bushes. So on this particular one, for the boom base pins, we've got a little bit of wear there, so we do. So that pretty much highlighted what we've, what we've picked out of this machine. So it's, it's, not, it's not too bad. Well, we've now moved on from the excavators and we're taking a look at this uh, CAT D6N LGP. A couple of issues that we've pointed out here with the reports was, and while it's not a major issue with the machine, is, uh, is the, the doors, for instance, on the cap. You know, so when the door opens back, it's, it's not locking in position. So it gives people an idea of what they're looking at. And, and again, it's, uh, it shows the detail that we get into in the inspection reports that give people that confidence that we're checking everything out, yeah. you know. The next thing that we're seeing here is in the hydraulic section again. So with the, with the angle blades down here on the machine, we're looking at a little bit of seepage dripping leak coming from the left hand one and the right hand cylinder is a bit of a score in its unmarked. But that's about the major issue with this machine, so it's a pretty 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 tidy, tidy machine. machine yeah. mm. Great. Okay, thanks. No problem.